Hi all, welcome to YouTube channel name Steady Karnataka. This is the new series in which we will be discussing the previous year questions based on science such as biology, chemistry and physics that has been asked in previous year group C examinations of KPSC, SSC, KEA that are useful for all the government examinations. So let's begin the video with the first question. The first question is, if the plane mirror is turned through an angle of 10 degree and reflected rays turns through an angle of, that means if at all there is a mirror and you are standing in front of it, and you are standing in front of it, if you turn by 10 degree, that means if you turn by 10 degree, this is the first angle of incidence. Then the second, if you turn and stand by this side, this will be the angle of incidence. That means there is a vary in between the angle. If you want to read the question in Kannada, it has been provided in the same slide. So please do pause the video and do read the question in Kannada and then again watch the further video. So here the options are 5 degree, 10 degree, 15 degree and 20 degree. The answer is 20 degree. We will see the concept of each and every question. The basic concept and important points that can be asked in the examinations. See, if a plane mirror is turned through an angle of X, if a plane mirror or a person standing in between the in front of mirror is rotated or turned by angle of X degree, then the reflected rays turns through the angle of 2X degree. That means if at all the angle is turned by 10 degree, then the reflected rays turns through an angle of 20 degree and this is same applicable for the question that has been asked. We can see it by the images. Here it is the plane mirror and first one is the angle of incidence. It was, this is normal. The angle of incidence was theta. Then see, if at all angle of incidence initially was I, afterwards it has been rotated by 10 degree. That is nothing but we can consider theta as 10 degree. Theta is equal to 10 degree. Then the reflected angle is nothing but I. The reflected angle is I. But if at all the re reflected angle has changed because of the changing of the position of the man or an mirror, then it is calculated by adding those two numbers. That is 10 plus 10 degree that is, is equal to 20 degree. And that's why here they have given that mirror rotation is theta. That means reflected ray rotation is equal to 2 theta. The basic concept is just remember that if at all the angle is given in a question and they have asked what will be the change in the reflected reflected ray from the mirror, the answer will be multiply that degree with 2, the, you will get the answer. Therefore, if at all mirror rotation is theta, then the reflected ray rotation is 2 theta. Let's move on to second question. Before moving on to second question, in between we will see some of the important hints that can be asked for the examinations. For example, if at all they ask, which is the purest form of natural water free from impurities? The answer will be spring water. Do remember, the answer will be spring water. Question number two that has been asked in Group C examinations of 2021 conducted by KPSC. Right? Sun spots on the surface of the sun are option 1 regions of low magnetic fields, second regions of high magnetic field, third one regions of black holes or fourth one imaginary spots. You can read the question in Kannada also it has been provided here. The answer here is the regions of high magnetic field. We will try to understand why it is the regions of high magnetic field and what are the basic concept or some of the facts that can be asked in the examination related to sun or our solar system. This is concept and important points. Sunspots. One interesting aspect of the sun is its sunspots. Sunspots are the areas where the magnetic field is about 2500 times stronger than the earth's that is much higher than anywhere else on the sun. 
Because of the strong magnetic field, the magnetic pressure increases while the surrounding atmospheric pressure decreases. That means whenever the surrounding temperature of the sun decreases, the magnetic field increases. You can see these are the magnetic lines that has been formed because of the sunspots. These are nothing but sunspots. Some of the important facts regarding sun. The radius of the sun is 6,96,340 km. Do by head these numbers because these numbers are directly asked in examinations. Radius of the sun is 6,96,340 km. It holds 99.8% of the solar system's mass and is roughly 109 times the diameter of the earth. Do remember the majority or 99% of the mass of our solar system is covered or is because of our sun. And the radius or the diameter, sorry, the radius or the diameter is roughly 100 times. The sun's diameter is roughly 109 times that of the diameter of the earth. Next, the important point here is surface temperature of the sun. It is approximately 6000 degrees Celsius. Do remember the surface temperature of the sun is approximately 6000 degrees Celsius. Sun was formed 4.5 billion years ago. And white dwarf, do remember this word, white dwarf. White dwarf is the last and the next stage of the sun. Next, solar energy is generated by nuclear fusion. Do remember this because nuclear fusion, solar energy is generated by nuclear fusion, F-U-S-I-O-N. Let's move on to the question number third. Moth balls contains that means damber gulige galalli ruva rasayanika vastu yavudendu kelidare. The options are camphor, benzoic acid, naphthalene, and cinnamic acid. Here the answer is naphthalene. If at all you have gone to any of the mall or any of the per grocery stores, you can see that the camphor balls are kept for sold, and these are nothing but damber gulgi. Right? These are called moth balls. We can see what are these uses of camphor, benzoic acid, and cinnamic acid. We can call this as question out of question because this question has been asked in the form of an options. Now we can derive the questions from those. Here are some of the hints that we can use for answering if at all some questions appear in the examination based on these options. First one is benzoic acid is used in insect repellents, perfumes and dyes. Camphor is used in Vicks vapor ups that is which we apply during we have cold or cough such as jandu balm. It is used in cuff, pain and even in itching also camphor is used. Then cinnamic acid is used for flavoring synthetics, indigos and certain pharmaceuticals. That means, and also in paint, right? In order to give the color to the paint, this is used. Let's move on to the next question. Question number four. Rainbow is produced when sunlight falls on a tiny water droplets. Which of the following physical phenomenon happens? Is or are correct? Here the options are diffusion, refraction, total internal reflection. Now the options are 1 and 2 only, 1 only, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. Do remember this question was asked in KPSC 2021 Group C examination. Here the answer is 2 and 3. That is refraction and total internal reflection. You can also read the question in Kannada. You can pause the video, you can read the question and get back to the answer. Now we can see the detailed explanation. What all, what are the physical phenomena that happens during the rainbow formation? See, this is a water droplet. This is called water droplet. The light from the sun enters the water droplets. At the first, it gets refracted. A refraction phenomenon happens. Then you can see there is a dispersion. This is called dispersion. That is split of the sunlight. Dispersion happens. Then the total internal reflection happens. And again, the colors are dispersed and they have been ref get reflected as the rainbow. And that's nothing but 
the rainbow phenomenon here we can see mainly three things happen one is refraction second one is dispersion and third one is total internal reflection right the second video up will be uploaded by today night or today evening do subscribe the channel for more video content share with your friends and stay tuned for more content join the telegram channel we have provided the link in the description thanks for watching the video have a nice day bye